did work. And now, Orianna, I would say Jensen's number one signature pick is here in game one of the final. And with these last two lock-ins of the mid laners, I don't right expect... There. So if there is a play to be had, it could be a knock-up on a double. You can see Core J playing towards the back. The slow is there, the knock-up, they're gonna find one! And they're burning down Core J J! First blood for G2 in the final! A Smith, he has to run for the hills as TP comes in from an extra member. There is no extra kill to be had as Caps looks for a bind, finds damage on a double. He's still taking the shots! Under the turret they go! Forcing the flash! What a For play. now, a safe recall, but that recall can be stopped. There are wards in that brush. Great positioning there from Core JJ to keep his AD carry alive. They're gonna go. Ooh, they're going on Xmithy. They know Devil isn't there. The slow is there on a Tom Kench. He can eat for a little bit, but he's gonna be knocked up. And here comes the TVs from everyone else. They try to buy some time, but Core JJ is gonna die yet again. No TV for Devil instead of Swain here. And the gangplank as well. The barrels come in, but there's no chain. He's gonna flash back to safety. The knockup coming in! They're gonna get yet another one! A double kill for Perks! And Kills obviously means a lot more on Perks. And we now have the attempt towards top lane. A slow, now comes the cage on top without flash. No easy way out for Impact. Trying to run, not Rooter just yet, but here comes the Swain ultimate, and they might just have the damage. Oh, he's running for dear life. The flash, as soon as he's able, he gets it. Wonder knocks down the- Used to get in position. Yankos is the level ahead, and so him going down bottom side for the counter gank as well means there's no fight opportunity. Well, they find the ult on a perch, though. Good damage down the ult on top. Looking for the dive underneath the turret. His gangplank can't be able to turn it around. 5-0 to G2. So, so far away, they won't have the numbers to do it. Tremendous soil helps guarantee it. And the last auto attack comes through as the dragon's picked up. Immediately lands a knockup, and we're back to live. Back to a dead Tom Kench. Looks like quite a day. In the early game, they would actually match Invictus Gaming in a lot of these early skirmishes. And they actually found themselves in a decent gold lead. Uh, it was like that. They're losing just across the board. They might be losing even some more as the fourth play comes out of the top lane. Here comes a dive on impact yet again. Demonic Ascension. But can they burn him down? Yes, Double Lift is there to turn around the first kill of the final. But Yanko's able to cleanly walk away. Gets the flash ultimate. And the rest of G2 are nowhere else to answer. The Morgana doesn't have the teleport. The Zyra can't have just come back to base. You have to keep the pressure on. The next Drake has spawned very recently. We have five minutes until Baron. But the mid lane's already there. That bastard of defense just being shut down. One kill picked up ready to Xmithy. And look out for Jensen rooted. Shockwave is not going to be enough. They trade one for at the end of it all. And now Yanko's able to walk away off that kill. Yet that's not over. And Wonder's going to find one as well. Impact is summonerless. He's trying to get away from the slows. He's got Core JJ. But Yankos finds the knockup. Now trying to theory him to safety. Pushed away, but Mickey X finds it again. They look for the kill and the support, and they will get yet another. It's 11 to 2, and G2 cannot be stopped. G2 find themselves four more kills as Double If tries to get something back on the other side of the map. Getting they that 1,000 gold bounty shutdown that you just saw, but then Impact caught in his own jungle here. Gold mid lane siege goes for yet another round, and it's Team Liquid backing off. A little bit of wave clear, but they will submit and they will knock down one. Now here comes the engagement again. Mickey X finding several charms. The dunk comes in, but Koi today brings Garner to safety. Wonder coming in with the demonic ascension. Has a lot of damage available. Explodes it for one. Almost knocks down Xmithy. No death just yet. Impact's had to run away. Slowed down now by Cat. Finds it to come in. Shockwave finds a bit of damage, but no kills just yet. It's two for G2 and make it a third. They will not be stopped as they push through to the mid lane. And the 2-2 two -two turret will fall. Xmithy is barely getting the recall away, but this is G2 pushing into the inhibitor turret. G2 rip through team. Liquid in game one, only 18 and a half minutes, and they find themselves another three kills. They expose the base, but they don't want the inhibitor. That one resource, now for the is coming forward, no does flash. not have his flash, no blast cone. It is unstealable, and G2 earned through the map. throughout this tournament, and he's carrying G2 through this game one. Definitely has been an exceptional snowball here. Buff, they are knocking at the doors. He's like gonna grab the best that they can with impacts still pushing the bottom lane as they Bind. Slow, and now a bind with Xmithy. Will this be the engage? They put their feathers down. No root. Shockwave on the three. Here comes the engage from Mickey, though. Gets the first knockup. Looks for the back line time. Plenty of damage coming through as Xmithy trying to run away. The turret's gonna drop, but no champions just yet. Caps very low, but not dead either. Impact TPing in, and now on the back side, here comes Demon Flare, and it's a double kill already. Team Liquid pushed completely off. Double inhibitor gonna fall. The Nexus soon to follow. Baron buff on G2. All five members standing, and they are on the Nexus turret.
G2's first international championship since 2011 could be coming in now. One Nexus turret falling. They hope as game one of three could happen for them, but they will back off. 23 minutes in, they will wait. They will reset with more than a minute of bear and the flash re-engage. They caught Jensen unaware. What a great kill for Mickey. They find the second as well. Psych, they're going to end the game. On the potential flank, looking for another opportunity as G2 pushing towards the bot side of the map with only eight seconds left on this Baron. Well, that Baron has done plenty. 3,000 gold lead through that buff as double inhibitors are down, and this bottom inhib will drop its turret at the very least. Team Liquid going to back off a nice bind. Is this the engage? He's going to be grabbed by Core J. David, here comes the duck, and here's the engage by Wonder once again as they look for these kills. A big charm to knock him in the back line. It's already one kill. Make it a second as the Team Liquid members are falling fast and furious. G2 Esports in commanding fashion will take game one of the 2019 MSI Finals, Europe versus North America, and G2 strikes first. Honestly, a very the aggressive there it is. here in the Olaf. There is the pike we expected at this point. We are no longer surprised yeah. by <laughs> are, top lane pike. We are no longer surprised by top lane pike. Said, well, nothing to be surprised by. This is a typical Team Liquid composition, and if they don't get a lead early, they don't win the game. So he's feeling pretty confident about this one. And confidence in the bottom lane is double of chunk down to 200 HP. They'll find a stun and a thrash, but Yankos could go for a big fly. Another fly into the flash knockup, and Core JJ will be knocked down for Yankos' second first blood of the match. Three out of four summoner spells oh, burned. Uh, which means that Yankos could look for a potential play once again, bot lane. And now Jensen's got to be careful as well. Not going to hit just yet, but we know Caps can try to find something. Looks for the stun. Not getting it yet. Now the rest of the squad is here. Three on three. As now Perks is over the wall. This is a fight that G2 might win. Look at Yankos. He's flashless, and Jensen is on the board. But now it's towards Core JJ. He will be shut down as well as G2 answer back. During yeah. this, so they are going to get a Mountain Dragon in exchange for impact, as you can see on the mini map. Outside of them losing all their summoners bot was the fact that they got oh. a lot of turret plates top, but now it could be terrible. For like just it. Ash Arrow, they hit the stun of Perks, but here comes the knock up there towards Core JJ. TP comes in as Caps joins in. They find the first. Nice stopwatch buys time, but the drag row, it's going to be easy to juggle around as Perks finds kill number two and G2 up four to one. Now Jensen is here, but he is very much outnumbered. Dives in for a fight. Look at the crowd control. Has to flash away. Now it's impact on top, and it's Team Liquid looking for a comeback kill, but they cannot quite find it. Finally, Protoa gets one. Impact. He's going to find number two, and he saves the bottom lane. Because the longer they wait, if Pike can find those kills, he very quickly comes back. There they back go. It's a flash for the first stun. Flint and Image was impact. Now trying to stay alive with Slicing Maelstrom. But here comes the rest of it. Oh, Protoval buys a bit of space, but still will is activated. Hook is landed. But again, this is the weak side of the map right now for G2 because they committed two members to go kill Impact. Yeah, and I like this play from Team Liquid Kobe because they could choose to keep the pressure up if they wanted to. They've even... I'm looking at the location of the Kali right now. She's actually gone down bot. This could be winnable right now. Wonder does not have an ultimate, and the damage does come through. Jensen finds the kill on the push as Yanko... And we can see the clear difference between Game 1 and Game 2. Team Liquid did not concede as much in the early game. They weren't losing all across the board, and Yankos was not able to snowball kill after kill after kill. So now they're transitioning into the mid game with a 1.5k gold lead. Their cannon top is extremely strong, and Team Liquid are actually the team that's in the better position to force fight. And again, we keep looking at this and in top impact. Only continue to get stronger. And they are seated right now. Demolish is on plenty of damage, finding a stun onto the support. But again, the ult comes across, stopping TL, pushing them back. Now with be an engage, he's exhausted. He's taking a lot of damage. Impact's going to try for the play. He's already burned the flash, but he can't get into the opposing lineup and will not find a single stun. A clean disengage for G2. I think that how each team executes upon these fights will be so crucial in how this game plays out. He's Enchanted Crystal Arrow lands. Uh, Core J tanks it and burns the cleanse to get away from this one, but that is still a great crest. Enchanted Crystal Arrow as one turret does fall. Now the hook into its impact. They try to burn him down. He gets a stopwatch off, but not the slicing maelstrom. Here comes the engage. It's all about Olaf, and it's about a call. He wonder finds the first on impact. It's a one for one so far to the back line. Jensen finds a second. x is low, but the team able to push forward. Team Liquid lose the turret. They win the fight. Now it's time for round two. Jensen is low, cannot find the kill. It is Cap who says he can get the kill and sends him back to Lissandra. It's 3v3 now in this fight as the channel comes in. Look for the pull. G2 get kill number three and number four. Doublelift is alone and he will die. The ace for G2. Yeah, to capitalize on and they were able to get the outplay. Top side.
Looking for Caps. He does have the Akali ult under his wings. We can get really, really far. TP now comes in for the squad. Look how much damage he gets towards Jensen. Nearly picks up the kill, and the reinforcements are in. A stopwatch burn, and in goes Cannon, trying to turn it around. One for zero, make it one for one. If Wonder is now dead, Xmithy trying to stay alive with the kills. Just come through fast and furious. G2 win yet another team fight. And Baron Team Liquid will only knock down an outer turret. G2 will not be stopped this close to the championship. Things were so close between these two teams. Ooh, Caps, he's looking for Cold KJ. Uh, he's gonna get that kill. I pretty much guarantee it. Braum running for his life, but he's gonna fall as well. The damage double have dropped about two thirds. Regening up now. This mid turret gonna be taking a lot of damage now as well. And Team Liquid unable to defend that one. As now the arrow comes in, barely dodged away by Jensen. That could have been a kill pick. Always have the threat for five man in the event that TL tried to fight. Another attempt right now is pretty good damage comes out of Caps, but able to walk away, not getting caught just yet, waiting for what could be an engage out of TL. The turret chunk lower and lower. Two more cannon shots will knock it down. And right now, now looking at the bottom side, a nice stun, and Wonder kites away. Now, is this the attempt for impact? They find a slow, they find almost a stun, and Yanko's gonna burn the stopwatch. This could be the team fight. In they go as he's still slicing Maelstrom! And it is just that, slicing up Team Liquid. And suddenly it's one versus the world, and he cannot stop it. A clean ace, and even as fast as the last one. G2 looking at a sub 30 minute win, and they are a single game away from your first ever MSI trophy g2 the kings of europe about to be the kings of the world he goes from your jungler and your support jarvin and rakan will try and assist aurelia in getting kills onto that syndra early on in the game now we go bottom side Ooh, double lift has been left by himself. Here they go. Level two, looking for the engage, but Quarter Day is around. They're gonna find the first knockup. Plenty of damage there. Headbutt finds him out of space, and a three man pull over the first one still does come through. G2 Esports on the board. Three games in a row first. And once again, G2 successfully shut down Double Lift. They are making this series impossible for him to play. And now Caps is looking to fight Jensen. And he's got Ignite. There's plenty of damage output there. The barrier will keep Jensen safe as Caps walks away cleanly after winning trade. Yeah, both holding onto the summer spells. Yanko's passing. This is over a ward, so even though he comes mid lane, Jensen should know his whereabouts. And Smithy setting up the counter. All right, trying to bait in for the play. Here comes the first stun. Here comes the engaged barrier pop flashing away. Will there be a stun? Can there be an answer kill for Team Liquid? Forcing one flash out. Now they need the stun on the Yanko, so they're gonna find that with all the damage, and Jensen will get on the board. Good use of it. It is gonna be a flash bottom side. Double lift is dead. They found the ignite, they found the kill, and now Croydon Day must run away. There are no cooldowns just yet, but they're trying to chase him down underneath this turret. Has to flash away from that feather. This lover's duo smashing right now. It's now Wonder, just out of range of Smithy's stun, cannot be caught out, will walk away with his flash down. Smithy doing what he can to try and help his laners on the top side of the map, but there's nothing he can do about the bottom side as Yankos is now looking for revenge against Smithy. Looking for the play, Impact does have an empowered heal. He's not gonna be able to pop it, just barely puts that in, but oh, has a flash with two HP left on the health bar, just walking out. Once again, Yankos is on a rampage throughout Summoner's Rift, top to bottom. Now he's still keeping up the dive onto Smithy. Walks forward, finds some damage, gonna flash in the smite! Oh, it's a couple of seconds bot, though. Impact's gonna stay alive. Now, will there be a repeat heal? Will there be something else as the Aftershock comes in, survives the damage, Jankos at 100, puts the flag down. Reveal his location, Smithy trying to hide away. They still don't have the cooldown on Syndra's ult back up. They might try for the attempt right here if you can find the QE. Nice juke by Kath, but will be hit a little bit. Nice little sun comes in. Ult comes in as well. He's got a lot of a playground to play around with. They find that first stun. They find some damage, but Ignite means he will get the solo kill to 1v2. And Caps tries it for Jensen. And here comes Mickey. G right there is the best mid laner in Europe. Maybe the best mid laner in the world. Looking at these performances now. Looking at more and a double it, forcing him again to burn both summoners. A second they come back up. Team Liquid cannot buy an advantage. And again, in the top lane, Caps is everywhere. This one is just afraid of what uh, Yankos could have done to him. This is the lane going away and a re-engage in the mid side. They find a stun, stopwatch popped as well. And will it be any kills for TL? Forced outside of the cage, Caps, he will not go down without a fight. Fight. Great return ulti from Smithy, but we have more fighting. We got a return to the top side right now as one auto attack will do him in as Yankos is on the board of his first. Caps yet again, wits and done, three, zero and two. Three, three minutes and 10 seconds. Anything under that sets a world record for international best of five. They've already taken down Faker and SKT, setting a record on the way to the first European title since 2011 is a great way to cement G2 in history. Well, the Rift is going to help them along with that, Freak. Charge yep. gets off on the secondary turret here, and this might go down. 
Taking a lot of damage. The Herald will fall. Finally, a fight that won. That TL can win. Yanko's drops, but Caps is under the turret. And he gets away with it, too. Finally stunned. A bit more damage in. But he's still not dead. He's still healing. They might have the damage. And finally, he's TL he's dies. Down. <laughs> he actually dies. The man is mortal. He can bleed. But so can TL's base. It's already four turrets in 14 minutes. So e2 now no. forced to play on the defense. Teleport coming in. They also have a roam from Mickey in the river. Look at the play right now. Wonder puts in the pop off and gets the shield. Finds a single stun. In comes Mickey. Will it be a single kill? Yes, impact is on the board. And can they get a little more? This is the comeback TL needs, but it is teammates. And Yanko's coming up. They will clear the wave, they will back up, but there's gonna be an engage. Oh, that was just a clone. <laughs> they find the slow, over the wall they go, looking for Jensen, plenty of damage there, but he's gonna be fine walking away. Look for the stun, Henning predicts the flash, actually a good stun there, but no kills to be had. Instead, the base is being seed. They are being taken down right now. G2 unwilling to be stopped, the turret's still in their eyes, feathers fly, and G2 will pull back. That's a big stun, that's a big engage! Oh my gosh, look at the fight! They look for kill number four. This might be an ace inside of the base, inside of 18 minutes. The mid inhibitor will surely fall. And G2 ripped through the hearts of Team Liquid and North American fans as they secure themselves in the top of the world. There is no chance TL comes back from this. They're already on to the Nexus turrets. This is what peak League of Legends looks like, and it comes from Europe, a world record. G2 Esports 3-0 will win MSI 2019. Anyway, for everyone to lift it together, G2 Esports, the best team in the world. Your MSI 2019 champ, MSI champions. Before the first MSI champions. Before the first MSI champions. Congratulations on winning the first MSI trophy for G2 and for Europe. Congratulations. First, we want to ask you about my friend Perks. 那今天呢，他在拿下了这一次 MSI 的冠军之后，他作为一个新人的 ADC 选手，他怎么看待自己作为 ADC 在全球的排名呢 ？After this MSI and winning this trophy home, where do you see yourself as rookie AD carry? Uh, well, I'm the best. I won. 他说我是最强的，我想成为最强。Okay, congratulations and you prove yourself. 呃，接下来下一个问题呢，要问问是 Perks。其实今天他们也是在赛前的采访当中 ，Perks 有说到，他不仅仅想要成为冠军，同时他想要成为传奇。那他想要被怎么样的去成为一个名记的选手呢？啊、uh, ，Second question goes to Cavs. Ah,、uh, as you mentioned in the previous interview, you say that you not only want to be the champion but also the legend. So, what kind of player you'd like to be known or to be remembered as? Ah, <laughs>、uh, I mean, obviously, I want to win as much as possible. Uh, right from day one, when I joined EU, it was not really looking good that that good internationally. <laughs> But I I hope that I, I and my team could become good enough that we could compete internationally, and I just want to win as many trophies as we can. 我想要为 EU 赢得更多的奖项。可能在我加入 EU 赛区的时候，我们的赛区并没有那么的强，但是我希望我和我的队友会通过我们的努力，为我们的赛区争取更多更多的荣耀。那下一个问题要问一问 Yankos。Uh, so the second,、uh, the third question goes to Yankos, and I have to ask, what does it mean to you to be able to be part of the G2 legacy and now winning the second major title for Europe? Yeah, I mean, I guess it just feels pretty good to be able to leave the trophy on international stage. This year is my first time that I won the split in Europe, and I also won a trophy on international stage. So I'm really happy, you know, to be in this team, be a part of this team, and just enjoy it. 我刚刚问他的问题呢，是他他觉得这一次对于他们来说意义是如何的？能够将这一个 M S A 的奖杯，世界赛的奖杯能够赢取回家，而且这也是他们的第二个 E U 的
可能说在国际赛场上的主要的这一些冠军的奖杯，他说他非常荣幸能够代表 EU 在国际赛场上拿到这样的一个奖杯，而且也会继续的去努力。那接下来问一问，也问一问我们的上单选手王特选手，王特选手在整个 MSI 的表现当中，大家也看到了，他他拿出了非常非常多新奇的选择，同时也拿出了很多很多上单的一些英雄，而且大家对于他的上单派克应该是印象非常的深刻，所以他是怎么样去准备这么多新奇的一些选择的呢 ？OK， next question goes to Wonder. Uh, we can see that you're considered one of the best top laner in the world, especially uh, like your large or huge champion ocean. And we can see your top hike is so impressive. So how did you prepare such kind of spicy picks for MSI? Uh, I think it just comes down to like my team being really creative and they, we kind of support each other. So if someone has an idea, we are all like uh, on board with it at this like almost instantly, whereas on other teams, maybe they would be a bit more skeptical. But on this team, we are free to do like whatever we want when it comes to our champion pool. And I think that's like a big reason that uh, we succeed as, as much as we do with like the pocket picks we have. 其实我觉得我们的整个队伍对我来说都是非常非常的支持的，而且我觉得我们的这一些是可能说呃队伍当中的一些支持以及他们的一些创意，对于我来说都是非常好的。而且我们的所有的人都会为我们的这一些可能有人如果有一个新的提议或者新的意见的话，所有人都会支持他，并且付诸于实践去实验。那同时我们在后来能够有这样的一个成绩，可能是因为我有一个比较强大的一个英雄池，能够足以支撑我们有这么多的 pocket picks 或者说是这一些可能。可供选择的英雄。好，那接下来下一个问题要问到的是 Miki。Miki， 我想问问的是，因为今天他们能够拿到这样的一个冠军，对于他来说，他的脑海当中，在最后一局比赛的时候，他的脑海里想到的最多的是什么？啊、uh, ，Next question goes to Miki. Ah,、uh, so what's like the point of focus at the last moment in the last game? Well, in the last game, we were just kind of expecting them to pull out something weird. But they kind of went with some standard stuff that they usually play, so we're really confident, even from draft, that we're gonna win. So yeah, and then everything went according to plan in early game as well. So it was just kind of smooth sailing. Actually, we might also expect. 对方会拿出一些比较新奇的选择，但是可能后面他们拿出来是比较正常的一些英雄。那同时呢，我们也是能够有能力去打败他们。而且我们在前期，我们的游戏前期做的也是非常棒的。那最后一个问题要问到的是我们的教练，我们的教练是呃、uh, Grabs。So the question goes to Grabs. Where is all this pick and ban ideas came from in this international tournament? You guys are so creative and intelligent. We can see that G2 all the people are very, very creative. So we want to know, what are the ideas from these BP? I don't have an earpiece, so I can't understand. OK, if so where did all this kind of pick and ban came from in this tournament? Because you are so creative and intelligent. Oh, yeah. As one always said, um, the team is very creative in itself. That means they constantly come every day with a pick. Oh, this could work. This could work. Um, usually, it's like really troll, but like a pick pipe uh, top, for example, works really well. So just the daily work of uh, sitting through what can actually work, and it's a blessing playing with them. So it's really easy for me in draft. 其实我们在日常生活当中呢，就会准备很多这样的新奇的 BP， 或者去尝试这一些选择。所以说，在世界赛在 M 赛上能够拿出这一些选择来说，对于我们来说是非常非常简单的。好了，那我们接下来呢，在采访完之后，我们接下来要公布的是本次 MSI 的 MVP， 也就是我们总决赛的 MVP 的奖项。这个奖项的获得者将是来自十三个赛区的专家和媒体人共同投票，可以说是众望所归。他就是 G2 战。对的 ，Caps 选手 ，Congratulations Caps！ 好了，那接下来呢，我们也是想要有请 Caps 往前一步。<笑>好，我们其实可以看到 Caps 选手在我们本次的 MSI 的。好，非常感谢文文先生为 Caps 选手颁发的 MVP 的奖杯 ，Thank you，Thank you。You. 好，那接下来呢，我们也要想问一问 Caps。其实可以看到，人群当中最开心的莫过于是 Caps 的爸爸，他在人群当中一直在为 Caps 加油和助威。我想，这样的一个非常有意义的时刻，想问一问 Caps， 对于他的父亲有什么想说的 ？We can see that like your dad is cheering for you all time along in all kinds of international tournaments. So at this special moment, anything you would like to say to your father? Uh, I want to thank my dad for always coming. Uh, it feels good to finally bring back a trophy. Uh, too many times I've come back from international tournaments or just from EU with a loss and my dad and my family have to support me and they have to get me through this. But this time we have to celebrate. 
我非常感谢我的父亲。其实，这一次我终于能够把这样的一个荣誉和奖项赢回家。在很多很多次，我们可能在 EU 的赛区，或者说是在世界舞台上，我可能没有能够拿到这样的一个奖杯回家的时候，我的家人、我的父亲都一如既往的在支持我，在能够为我鼓励。但是这一次，我终于能够把这样的一个奖杯赢回家。我们可以一起庆祝这一个开心的时刻。Congratulations and thank you. And also thank you, Pal's dad. Thank you. 好了，那我相信很多人对于今天 G2 的表现应该都会非常的好奇，因为 G2 在整个世界赛上可以说是颠覆了我们所有的认知，或者说是对于我们英雄联盟的一些解读。那他是怎么样看待这样的一件事情的呢 ？Okay, the next question I would like to ask Caps. So G2 is always trying new things and also put out all kinds of spicy picks. So do you think G2 has changed the understanding of League of Legends or understanding of this matter? Uh, so, I mean, I definitely think that a lot of people will take uh, a lot of things from this tournament. I think since Worlds, uh, teams started pl pulling out a lot more things and people started playing a lot more aggressive. But from this MSI especially, I think people will go back to a lot more of their own comfort picks, try out the champions they're good at, and just go with it. 可能在世界赛上呢，很多人都会去选一些比较激进的，或者说是比较偏打团的这些英雄。但是我觉得在这一次 MSI 上面，更多的战队或者说是我们更多的会去选择能够让我们比较舒服的这一些英雄的选择，能够让我们打出自己打法的这些选择。我觉得这就是我们这次 MSI 的一些表现。那接下来想问一问 Caps， 其实呢，我们可以看到在这一次二零。在这一次获得 MSI 的冠军之后，我们可能更加期待看到 G2 在之后会有怎么样的表现呢 ？Caps。After this MSI trophy, what can we expect from G2? Maybe the Rift Rival or the Worlds? Um, <laughs> so we're going to try our best. I think something we have a lot to improve on. Uh, we came into the tournament wanting to get our revenge against IG, and we left with a 0-2 record against them. <laughs> so I think, uh, I think IG is the team we're looking to get a revenge against the against Worlds. And if we beat them, then I'm sure we can beat anyone. Wow. 其实我们在这次世界赛当中，可能跟 IG 交手的时候，我们的战绩不是非常的好，我们被他们就是连打两分。但是我觉得，如果我们能够打败了 IG 的话，我觉得我们可以打败所有的人，而且他们也是非常强的一支战队。我们也期待在世界赛上能够有更加强的表现。Okay, thank you, Caps. Thank you. <笑>好的，那我们再一次恭喜 G2 战队获得了二零一九英雄联盟季中邀请赛的总冠军，掌声谢谢他们。我们下期赛再见喽。